wired up and have some fun. Yeah. Go, go in there and give them a pep talk. Johnson play action, gonna throw it early. And he completes it to Vanderpool across the 35 to the 37 yard line. Good for first down. Give it to Walker. At the corner, got the first down. Dorsett doesn't make the tackle down the sideline. Robert Walker finally knocked out of bounds by Mosley at the 19. Sumner's there to first down West Virginia. You did it. Great job, Zach. Great job. You want to have a fullback that can knock people out of the box. Here it is, happens right there. And see, that you need to give him a lane. And what Dorsett's got to do is come up right now and squeeze, squeeze. See, you don't squeeze there. Then you come up with an arm tackle, gets a great back. You don't sell out, and you cost your team 20, 30 yards. 41-yard field goal attempt coming up by Brian Bauman. First attempt from this distance on the season. It's certainly long enough, and it's good. Way to go. Beautiful. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Hey, nice job. Nice job. Nice job, Tom. Nice job. Hey, nice job. And the Mountaineers have struck first in the backyard brawl. It's West Virginia three, Pittsburgh nothing. Mountaineer Magazine is brought to you by United National Bank. We're united with the Mountaineers by Bud Light. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never lets you down, make it a Bud Light. By Walker Machinery, your Caterpillar dealer with the best product support personnel on the road today. That's the Walker difference. By Nationwide Insurance and their many professional agents in West Virginia. By Coca-Cola, always Coca-Cola with the Mountaineers. And by your Mountaineer Chrysler Plymouth dealers. And then there's my beloved wife who summed it up this way. These two clubs have made so many mistakes, it'll be an interesting ball game because you're never going to know where the football is going to be. David Merrick has had a good year. The transfer from Marshall. Should be an attempt of 41 yards to try to match what Brian Bauman did earlier. He was um, looking at the sideline in the first gun lap. He, he said, block middle. So that means the guys that's in the middle, you know, due to the defensive line, but all the guys in the middle, they usually just go up and you have you have Kanee Curtis in the back. And, you know, it's like a leap. But the play call in the huddle was field goal middle block. And uh, that that uh used to consist of like it's like three three guys over one guy, one specific guy. So what happened was I think it was Barry Hawkins and uh, Henry Slade, they got so much penetration on on the one guy. I just popped me in free and I was able to get a hand on the ball. He got blocked. The ball took a funny roll, it took a funny bounce, and it bounced where I was running, and I looked at the ball and it bounced right back in my head. Score Harold Kid number 22. It's 9-0 West Virginia. Hey! Go get it, baby! Way to go, way to go! Cochran took fun on this fourth as well. I don't, know, I don't know what made me do this, but I took my eye off the ball for a second just to see who it was. And when I went back to see who it was, it was the ball just went right to my hand. And the drop ball was ball with a way back. Still a loose ball. Pitt's got it. Can you believe that they might score? Sean, he's going to make up for that drop. He got about it. And a bump that set, set up the big touchdown. Got it. On for Abraham. He's there. Touchdown, West Virginia. He smoked the corner. Uh, it was just basically a streak, but I, um, they had sort of, sort of been biting on the outs, you, you know, before the, our offense had been throwing the outs a lot. And uh, so I decided, well, you know, I know it's going to be just a plain old streak, but I figured, well, I might as well just give him a little stutter step just to make him think that I'm doing that. And he bit on that pretty big, and uh, I just continued the route and cut off and got to a nice ball and ended up as a touchdown. So 43 as the ball. We were in a cover three situation. So I was playing like a man to man type of defense. And I read the three step and I just broke. And I, I was with, with the ball and I just took off. There's a pass intercepted at the 50, pulled in by Beasley. Beasley down to the 30, the 20, the 10. They're after it. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, West Virginia. Don't celebrate too early. Let's go. Long game left. A lot of time. The 24 6. Let's go right after it right now. With 555 she go. 
will be the deepest West Virginia has had to operate its offense in its own territory. Play fake. Johnston going deep. Holy smokes, he's got Abraham now at the 45. Pulls it in, is nailed at the 50. I couldn't believe it. We knew if we um, sort of reversed that, their DBs would bite on that. And with me coming across the field, you know, they, our coaches um, expected me to be open. And that's what happened, you know. I, they called it, and I knew in my head that I was going to be happy. I opened, and all I had to do was just catch it. End around, fake the end around. They got a man wide open. Van to pull us down. Touchdown, West Virginia. I coached Jacobs and I, and Coach Simmel, I think, collaborate on the plays up in the box, and then they send him down to Coach Neal, and, and uh, he says, yay yeah, or nay. I wouldn't have done it. I'm glad you did. Hey, way to go, baby. Hey, how about Throw. Not a surprise. Hangs it up high. Real high. Maybe too high. Jones is there. Oh, yeah. oh, he beat it. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. No flag. And no flags. He beat Aaron Beasley. Beasley thought he had an easy one. A gimme, and he didn't get it done. Uh, we were in a cover one type of defense, in which I play a half. And uh, me and the safety are a combination on uh, outside routes. They ran, uh, I guess we call it an uh, underneath route and I was supposed to squeeze with the receiver, but I seen Van squeeze, so I came off, and I just ran, ran hard as I could, and I, as I jumped, I just felt too short. <laughs> Ryan is hit as he throws. Ball is picked off, we got a chance for two. Here we come down the field on the near side. Down over the 50, running hard back to Pony with the ball. To Pony, races, holy smokes, he has gone over 90 yards for two points. Back to Pony. We have seen it all, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Since 1947, I've been looking at these games. I have never seen anything like this. In 1947, on a cold, snowy Thanksgiving weekend, Bill Kern, 1928 Pitt graduate, got his last win as Mountaineer head coach in a 17-2 victory over his alma mater. On another snowy day, 10 years later, fullback Larry Krutko put West Virginia on top with a short touchdown, and the extra point made it seven to nothing. Pitt answered with a long pass play for a touchdown of its own. But there was one difference. Pitt's extra point was no good, and the Mountaineers escaped Pittsburgh with a 7-6 win. In the 1965 edition of the Backyard Brawl, West Virginia and Pitt combined for an incredible 111 points, with the Mountaineers coming out on top 63 to 48. That game is not only the highest scoring in the series, but it also is the highest scoring game in the storied history of West Virginia University football. The 1975's matchup was decided by the kick. Bill McKenzie's 38-yard field goal as time expired gave West Virginia a 17-14 win over the nationally ranked Panthers. In 1983, saw another exciting finish to the brawl. Quarterback Jeff Hostetler kept the football, dashed around the right side late in the game for the deciding touchdown in a 24-17 Mountaineer victory. Pitt returned to Morgantown two years later and jumped out to a 10-0 lead. The Mountaineers fought back managed to tie the Panthers at 10-10 with Tony Rita's short touchdown on a quarterback sneak. Nineteen eighty nine may have seen the most frustrating game in the series for the Mountaineer fans. WBU jumped out to a thirty one nine lead only to see Pitt score twenty two unanswered points and tie the game at thirty one on a last second field goal. And that brings us to 1994. 
Now, before we get too excited, let me recall to you that in the 70s, when I was working in Chicago, I did not have the pleasure of covering that game. West Virginia led by a score of something like this at halftime. Bobby Bowden calls it the worst experience in his coaching career. Pitt came back to win the football game. On the same field, I believe. And West Virginia fans tried to beat down the Mountaineer locker room door. I remember that. So you folks up on the mountains, don't start celebrating yet. Just hold it calmly there in hand. Touchdown, Pittsburgh! And the second half is underway here at Pitt Stadium. Fine play action. Hangs it up there. We got Gels. Gels is there. Can he score? He's going to have run a touchdown, Pittsburgh! Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. We need a wake-up call of these guys. Kerr-Rymany, that's sick. Hey, you guys up front, you guys up front, be real careful, let's go. And look at this, oh, oh, it's this. a beauty, they got it! Martin with a beautiful! What did I tell you? What did I tell you when you went out? They just weigh it down, you know, we let these guys come back, you know, we gotta put the hammer down right now, you know. And the one thing, you know, that we, what we saying on defense is like, hey, we can't give up, you know, you never know. On the 50, first and 10, Ryan High. Home run ball again. Going for Jell's triple coverage. Beasley looks like he's picked it off. Yep, he gave it back. Now the Panthers win the punt formation. Oh, no, they snap it short, and the ball is pitched back to the punter. And he is nailed. They're trying everything. Take the throw again. Ryan lets her rip. That's a free ball. Big goal. Again, too much pressure. Bangs this is pretty good. Mosley at the 20. Ooh, good coverage. Empty flags all over. That's a killer. That is a killer. Penalty flags plus a loose ball. ball. Mountaineer say they have it. You know, ever since I've been here, it's not a team that I've ever given up, you know. That's never been a characteristic of West Virginia team. You know, we don't give up any pleasure. Kick! Go kick! Kick! Ryan Bauman. He's a to kick here. Sure is. 39-yard field goal attempt. Four for six from this range. What? Can he pick it up and go? Let's see. He got the bounce. What a bounce! That's Tom Barry. Tied at 33. You might not have thought this could happen when it was 31-6 Mountaineers, but that's where we are. Kit in good field position at the Mountaineer 47. I was here when Pitt came back and I believe it was in 90 or, or 89 and uh, it came, they came back and it was a 31-31 tie and it was, I just kept thinking of that. Come on, come on. Screw up, screw up. Fumble, 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 fumble. Better look out for the end zone. Fumble on the exchange of the football. It's loose. It's picked up by West Virginia. And the Mazineers have the ball back. Ryan lost it on the exchange. The ball was picked up by J.T. Thomas. And the Mazineers have escaped again. This is better than a Houdini show. <laughs> Ninth punt by Sarah. So, I said we've seen everything, but actually, we hadn't seen everything. Locked again, are you kidding me? Oh, I love this game. I love this. This is Emmanuel, Charles Emmanuel, down the sideline. Pressure over the middle. Venture pull catches, dropped it. Oh, oh, he dropped another big, big, big play for West Virginia. I, I hate dropping passes, you know, because when I come off the sideline, Coach Nealon just gives me that look. And, you know, I, I really don't like to look at him then, so after I dropped the, the last one before the touchdown, I got real upset, you know, I came off the sideline, threw my helmet down. But, you know, um, the coaches and all the teammates, my teammates were just like, don't worry about it, you're going to have a chance to redeem yourself. And at 44, the snap goes to Johnston, and Johnston throws. And there's Vanderpool to pull it into the 50. 
taking off. He's down to the 30, the 20. He's to the 10, the 5. Vanderpool scores. I just ran, just ran and ran and ran, and it seemed like forever. Those 80 yards seemed like forever to run. And I just scored, and at that point, I, that must have been like one of the happiest moments in my life right there. Salvation for Rasan Vanderpool. 81 yards, and West Virginia takes the lead. We didn't have any linebackers standing there, and they saw that, you know. They were smart, and that's where that's what they attacked when they saw, you know, what package we had in there. Nicely done, good guard if he goes down. That'll stop the clock to move the change. And I, I sort of knew when they were, like, on 30, I said, well, they're going to, I think they're going to score, and uh, they're going to get it in, but if they get it in, they're going to go for two. And uh, I said, you know, offense, don't relax too much. You know, we're probably going to have another chance probably to go back in there. They caught us in a bad, bad defense on that two-point conversion. We didn't have anybody to take the quarterback. Um, no linebacker was blitzing up the middle. They just ran option. I had to take the back, or he would have just pushed it to the back. And so the quarterback just, you know, basically walked right in. They ask you in motion. They go with him. Walk me away. Pitch the option. Ryan. I was sitting on the bench with Coach Collab, and he was like, boy, Kirk, we sure lost this one. And I said, uh, I said yeah, I know we need a miracle. And we were, we blew it, that's what I was thinking. Uh, we gave up too many big plays, and then I just sit on the sideline, upset at myself for, for what happened to me. 41-40 kick. He moves it. 38 seconds, Vanderpool at the goal line. To the 10. Finds a hole. Wow. I stepped up in the pocket and uh, I think the DB saw me run out and I ran for about 10 or 12 yards, I think. And uh, I think the DB's kind of stepped up on that play. Well, the next play, I, I, the play to Zach, uh, I, um, I stepped up and I think they just kind of thought I was going to run out of bounds again or, or, or dump it down uh, to the fullback down there. Uh, short pass play. You know, you have a couple more scrambles like that or we get a long big pass and we're in pretty good field goal range. Um, you know, and the next play following, we ran the same play, just all of us streaked down the field. And, uh, you know, I, I think Chad started to scramble there and uh, the DB started to hesitate, you know, hesitate a little bit and sort of stopped in his tracks. I just kept running and when he, when he hesitated, I just looked back and saw Chad throwing the ball. Many fields to the far side. They've got long and there's a slot band to the left. Zach Abraham on the right side. The shotgun, the snap to Johnston. Johnston moves forward and fires downfield again. There's Abraham to put it in. Abraham is a 10, a touchdown. Holy moly. A West Virginia touchdown as he hits Abraham down around the 10-yard line. Good Lord.